LaRonda is with us in Roanoke, Virginia. Hi, LaRonda. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Thank you very much. How can we help? Yes, uh, I'm currently working two jobs to try to make ends meet. However, I'm 59 years old, and my credit report shows that I owe $258,000 in student loans. Is there any way I can make that go away? Good Lord. You're 58? I'm 59. 59. And the what did you study and when? Well, actually, I have three degrees, and with parents and, and students going to college, they, they make the parents do the Parent PLUS loans and pay for them. Make? Too. Hold on. You said they make them? Uh, my son wasn't able to get the tuition for his classes, and I had to do Parent PLUS loans the whole four years for him. Yeah. Or not go to that school. Yeah, okay. So you did. <laughs> yeah. So what is your uh, household income? Uh, I, the, my regular job is like 60000 a year. I have a mortgage. And you got three degrees in what? Uh, the first degree was in multidisciplinary studies, criminal justice, and religion. The second was a master's in accounting, and then a master of divinity in theology and homiletics. So why does a master's in accounting only make sixty grand? Uh, there's a long story about that. I, I don't think that a master's in accounting in this area would get you sixty grand. It just so happens the job that I work at now pays a little bit more. And you're in accounting full time? No, I'm in logistics. I'm a logistics specialist at Volvo Trucks. I'm extra confused. So we got the divinity stuff. You're not doing anything with that. We got accounting. You're not doing anything with that. We've moved to logistics. Well, you're using accounting yeah. and logistics, but yeah. Uh, okay. And the multidisciplinary criminal justice is not in use. Um, okay. So, well, the answer to your question, because these are disturbing numbers at 59 years old, the answer to your question yeah. is uh, we have to make more money. And you have not monetized your knowledge base very well. Um, right. Most people with a master's in accounting make 100, 100 and a quarter a year starting just to get going. You should be able to pass your CPA uh, with a master's in accounting, and you should move into that field and get up into the six figures. That's going to be mandatory. I'm a little lost as to why your career is so uh, underproducing with all of your knowledge base. But whatever the reason for that, you need to do a little soul searching, and we need to move your income way up, like dramatically. As a matter of fact, I'd like you to be at 120 heading towards 220. And, oh, and, that would be wonderful. And by the way, supply chain generally pays more than 60K. Mm -hmm. And Roanoke, right. is Roanoke, Virginia is not a backward town. I mean, that, that's a substantial city. Um, I, think the, I don't think it's anything to do with the, the uh, areas of study or the area you live in as much as it does your attitude towards it. Well, when I, when I tried to apply in the accounting field, our handicap is that through the college that I went to, uh, Liberty University, they, they teach you how to do everything the hard way. But when you go in for a job interview, they want you to know how to do it through the computer. Where previously we had to do it with two calculators and work it out the hard way. They want you to already have experience in SAP, which is just a, um, plugging in the figures and letting the software do what it's supposed to do. Yeah, but that's not rocket science. I, I mean, know, and they think it for is. For God's sakes, I can do it. <laughs> So, right. And I can't even operate my phone hardly. So, yeah, <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, SAP is a standard. You, you know, you don't do accounting by calculators and haven't in decades. So, um, and the other piece of this is the student loans, are, there's no way to just make them go away. I mean, you can't even bankrupt these things. And if you want to see stories of that, go watch Borrowed Future. And so there's going to be a conversation with the kids. I don't know if they're willing to chip in for their loans, even though it's legally on you, I would still see and say, hey, mama wants to retire one day, and uh, if they make good money in their careers, can they pay some of this down? Yeah. Um, you, you're going to, if you do not uh, get above this instead of laying under it, in terms of this being your career, where the career problems are all happening to you, and instead you start happening to the career issues and get on top of this and, and get up, leave the cave, kill something, and drag it home, the math on this is really, really not going to go well. 60 to pay off 258 at 59 
That's the, called a small shovel and a very large hole. We have to change your shovel to hole ratio mathematically to get you out because they don't. These are not going away. They're not going away. So the way you get rid of them is you increase your income dramatically, and you keep your lifestyle down at nothing, which it probably already is, and uh, then you just start throwing the difference at this very, very, very aggressively. So let's just pretend that over a year or two of working on this that you got to. Let's just be real generous. 160. Well, that's a hundred above what you're making now. And then you start throwing a hundred at 258. You're done in three or four years because by then it will have grown some. So it's not going to be a straight line issue. So that's what you're dealing with. Supply chain is not a bad field. Accounting is not a bad field. Both are hiring now and both are computer driven. Uh, and you're, you're going to learn to operate a computer if you don't know how, if you're going to win at this. So Figure out what you've got to do to get to where you're happening to your career with this knowledge base because you've paid a lot of money for all this knowledge and you're not getting anything for it. And you need to you need to monetize the knowledge base. That's what it amounts to. So hang on. We'll send you a copy of Ken Coleman's book, From Paycheck to Purpose. I'm also going to sign you up free for his assessment, his career assessment. I want you to take that and let's get above this thing. 